Let's go back and remember what I said about coterminal angles. Remember, coterminal angles, two angles with the same initial and terminal sides. It's just you went one way, your friend went the other way. Those are coterminal angles. Mathematically, I like to think of it visually. I, it, to me, it makes more sense visually, but some people want to know a formula. What's a formula I can use? Well, mathematically, your formula could be that if you subtract those two, you'll get 360 degrees. Um, I mentioned on the previous page, if you added their absolute values, you would get 360. Same thing. That's saying the same thing here. So to find your coterminal angles, let's go ahead and write this down. Well, here's the deal with coterminal angles. A couple things. One is when I talked about you went one way, your friend went the other. Well, then you have this crazy friend. And they always like to be different. And they always want to do things their own way. And so your friend goes, well, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to get there that way. Oh, there's my crazy friend again. They always do that weird thing. Okay, we're actually going to do that. We're actually going to say, well, how far did your crazy friend go? And so what you're going to do is you're going to take your original angle. And you're going to add 360 to it to get one of the coterminal angles, and you're going to subtract 360 from it to get the other coterminal angle. And one of those is going to be your crazy friend who goes around a bunch of times, and one of those is going to be your shortcut friend who always goes the short way. Now I will say, I exaggerated with the crazy friend here. You're, we are not going to necessarily make that many turns. Let me actually erase that and be a little bit more realistic. We're just going to make one extra turn. But in theory, you could be that crazy friend and go as many as you wanted. You could add 360, you could add 720, you could add, you could keep going. So you can keep going like that crazy friend. But what we're actually mostly going to do is just go around 360 and then one more and be done at that point. So that's not as crazy, right? This time your crazy friends kind of mellowed out. But anyway, um, so to find our coke terminal angles, we will add 360 to make your crazy friend. We will subtract 360 to find your shortcut friend. And then we have your original angle. Now, of course, we do things in degrees. We also do things in radians. So the same rule will apply, but we're going to also do it in radians. And remember that a circle is 2 pi radians. And so if you're doing it in radians, then you add 2 pi and you subtract 2 pi. And so once again, that's going to be for us, do we know how to add fractions? Uh, you'll see what I mean by that. So let's skip down to some examples here. All right, for coterminal angles. Um, so like I said, I like to visualize it. I'm going to draw it. Um, honestly, you don't have to. You can use these formulas. I just am afraid that if you use those formulas, you don't really know what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and draw them. So you're going to have to suffer through with me drawing them for now. But then, when you're on your own, you can do it your own way. Okay, 45 degree angle is right here. And so that's what you say. You say it's 45 degree angle. You have one friend that says, well, you know what? I'm going to take the long way. I'm going to go this way. How far is that? Well, what's 45 minus 360 or 360 minus 45? It's 315. So one person... So you say 45, your other friend says, no, I'm going to go 315. I just like to take the long way. And then your crazy friend, they are going to go in the clockwise direction. They're going to go 360 degrees plus more and end up in the same spot you did. And that is 360 plus 45. And 360 plus 45 is 405 degrees. Let's take a look at the math now. Back up here to this formula at the top x plus 360. So I took this number, I added 360, and I got that. I took this number and I subtracted 360, and I should put a negative there. I forgot my negative sign. So let's put a negative there, because this number minus 360 is negative 315. We went in the negative direction. Let's try another one. Okay, on number 2, we have a negative 150 degree angle. So you decide this time you are going to go a negative 150 degrees. That's a little bit like that. And so you say, I'm going negative 150 degrees. I'll meet you there. And your friend says, all right, that's fine, but I'm going to take the other way. I'm going to go this way. So how far do you go? 
Well, you went 180 plus another 30. So you went 210 degrees, and you went in the positive direction. And your crazy friend says, yeah, I'm going to take the really long way because I like to do it that way. And so they go, and you know what? On this third one, you can go either way. I've mentioned that um, there really are infinite solutions. You could add, keep adding 360, 720, whatever, or keep subtracting 360, 720, whatever. So you can really go either way. Um, if you go the negative way, which is the way you started out, you could go around 360 and then another 150. So 360, negative 360 and a negative 150 adds up to a negative 510. But that crazy friend could decide to go the other way instead. And they could go, nope, I want to go this way. I'm going to go 180 degrees and all of that extra part. And that would be from that 210 plus 360. So if we add 360 to that, we get 570, positive 570. Okay, back to the math again. You can use these equations to make sure or whatever. So if I added this to 360, if I just added a negative 150 plus 360, I would get 210. If I took negative 150 minus 360, that gives me negative 510. But if I took the alternate root, that is the 210, and I added 360 to that, that would give me 570. Any one of these three answers is fine. Notice in the instructions it does say one positive and one negative. So you can't only add 360 and 720. You have to do some adding and some subtracting both ways. Okay, again, I don't think we have to do every single one of these. So let's skip down to the radians because I know radians are a little bit more difficult for people. Okay, number six, pretty basic. Um, this person wants to go pi over four. Do you remember where pi over four is? It's at a 45 degree angle like this. So there's your pi over four radians. That's how you want to go. Your friend goes, okay, but I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go this way. And here's where your fractions come in. Okay, you know that a whole circle is two pi, right? But we're counting in fourths. So that's actually eight fourths of a pi, right? That would be equivalent. So this friend went eight fourths of a pi minus a fourth of a pi. So they went seven fourths of a pi. So seven fourths pi radians is one of the answers and that should be negative because that person was going in the negative direction. And we'll talk about just the equation part of it here in just a second. Then your crazy friend, what about them? They're gonna go and they're gonna say, I'm gonna go the positive way, but I'm just gonna go all the way around plus one more. Okay, well, all the way around, once again, is 2 pi, which is 8 fourths. So they actually went 8 fourths plus another fourth. So they actually went 9 fourths. All right, so they went 9 fourths pi. Now, I said I was going to talk about the math a bit, so let's do that. So up at the top, our equation says we need to add 2 pi and we need to subtract 2 pi. And so that's why I came over here and I said, okay, what's 2 pi in terms of fourths so I can do it? So I need to add 2 pi. So pi over 4 plus 2 pi is 9 over 4 pi. Pi over 4 minus 2 pi is a negative 7 over 4 pi. So we just have to know how to add our fractions. I have a positive answer. I have a negative answer. That's all I need. I want to look at number 10. Because on number 10, your crazy friend gets to start. I don't know who chose that person to start, but they get to start. How far do they go? 15 over 4 pi. It seems like we did that a second ago. 15 over 4 pi was 3 and 3 fourths pi. All right, so here goes your friend. They're crazy. They go 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and 3 fourths of a pi. They went that whole way. This is 15 pi over 4 radians. Okay, you say, dude, you're crazy. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the shortest cut possible. I'm going to go in the negative direction instead. How far did I go? Well, I only had to go in negative pi over 4 radians. That's one person. 
your friend says, okay, I still want to go the negative way, but I'm not going to go as far as that person did. So I'm going to go over here and go up to here and go all the way over here. How far did they go? Well, they went one pi plus another three-fourths. They went one and three-fourths pi. But we really don't use mixed numbers like that. We want to state it in terms of an improper fraction. So that's seven pi over four. Again, let's check with our equation. Our equation is we should add 2 pi and we should subtract 2 pi. That's true. That is true. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, what I did, though, because my crazy friend was so crazy, what I did is I subtracted 1 pi. That's 8 over 4. And I got this. And then I subtracted another pi. That's another 8 over, 8 over 4 away from that one, and I got that. So I ended up subtracting twice. Once again, the instructions say one positive and one negative. I have one positive and I have one negative. I'm good. There are infinite number of solutions you could give me. So if you did these two answers, that's great. But what if you just want to stick to the rules? You like that adding rule and you just want to stick to the adding rule. You can do that. If you want to take this and add 2 pi, that's like 8 over 4, you'd get 23 over 4 pi. And you could give that answer as well. You just have to have one positive and one negative. I don't care which one positive and which one negative they are. Your friend can go around as crazy many times as he wants to go. That is the end of our coterminal and reference angles. Uh, we will work on this tomorrow and um, get some more experience with our unit circle.